All right, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, but take a look at these two cameras. I'm gonna cover my face here so that that camera can focus a little bit better. But this is my Hero 5 over here, and this one's my Hero 8. Now, just by looking at them, which one would you guys assume I've had longer? Maybe you'd say the Hero 5. It looks a little bit more beat up, the corners are a little bit bashed in, the front screen here has some scratches, while the Hero 8 seems to be in practically perfect condition. But actually, I've had both of these cameras the exact same amount of time. The only difference is, is that I use the Hero 5 way more often than the Hero 8, even though the Hero 8 is definitely the better camera. So why, Matt? Why do you use the Hero 5 if the Hero 8 is better? Well, I'm glad you asked. And there's really only one reason for that. And it's because of one big change that GoPro made when they transitioned from the Hero 7 to the Hero 8. And that was the removal of these replaceable lens covers. Now, before, if I crashed my drone and scratched up my lens or broke the glass, all I would have to do is twist this guy off, pull it off, and purchase a new one online, swap them out, and I was good to go. It was easy. But with the Hero 8, they kind of made the lens cover built in, which made it a lot more difficult to swap out. And it seemed like the only options we had were to either repair your GoPro or just buy a new one. Well, I received something in the mail this week and man do I wish I knew about this product earlier. So I gotta say thank you to one of you guys in the comments who recommended this to me. But it's made by a family owned Canadian company I believe called Camera Butter who make these Hero 8 lens replacement kits which pretty much do the exact same thing that these replaceable lens covers did. So today, I'm gonna test them out for the very first time. I looked at the instructions online and they seem relatively straightforward to put in. So I'm gonna try them out and show you guys how to do it as well. Now, you're not gonna need very many tools to do this. All you're gonna need is your camera butter replacement kit. You're gonna need this opening tool, which actually came bundled with the kit, which is very nice. And you're gonna need a heat gun, which I have right here. Now we're gonna be using this heat gun to heat up the glass and the adhesive under it in order to help us remove it so that we can replace it. But because I know that some of you guys might not have a heat gun lying around at home, I'm also gonna do an experiment and test this out to see if it'll work with a cheap hair dryer and see if this can produce enough heat to remove the glass as well. I really don't know if this is gonna work, but I wanna test it out just for the sake of you guys not having to buy a heat gun, if you can use, you know, what you have lying around. So, anyways, I'm gonna set up this uh, overhead rig that I have over here. Ah, I almost forgot. Um, I would also recommend that you guys have some sort of lens cleaning tools on hand. Whether it's one of these air pumps, or like a lens pen, or just like a microfiber cloth, whatever you have, uh, just to clean off any dust that might get on your lens in the process. All right, let's get started. So step one is going to be to heat up the adhesive under this glass in order uh, to be able to pry it up using this tool. Now I'm gonna start with the hair dryer to see if that works, and if not, we're gonna move on to the heat gun. But the tip uh, that I saw in the tutorial that I watched was to heat it up until the point where it's almost too hot to touch. So let's see if it's possible with the hair dryer. Let's try. Okay, not yet. Let's keep going. I think we got it. Let me add a little bit more heat to the other side. Mm 
Okay, there we go. And there is our glass. Cool. I honestly didn't expect the hairdryer to work, but I'm glad that it does. All right, so next we have to take off all of this adhesive that's left over. This has to be taken off so that the new adhesive can stick well to it. Damn, I just accidentally touched the lens, which is fine, but it's going to, uh, it's going to mean that I have to wipe it off now because I got some fingerprints on it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. All the, all the little pieces of glue are taken off. There's a little tiny bit left over, but I think that's gonna be fine. Now, the next step is just make sure that the lens is clean. So I'm gonna wipe off any fingerprints, blow out any, any dust from the center. And that looks good. All right, so the next step is going to be to open up our camera butter replacement kit. We're gonna get some wipes to wipe off dirt and our new glass. Now you're gonna see that one side of the glass is gonna have the 3M tape. That's where the adhesive is. So that's gonna go down into the camera and the clear side is going to be uh, facing up. So let's carefully remove this and try to install it. We got a little tab here. Now, really take care to make sure that there's no, that no dust gets on, on that side of the, the lens because that's gonna be pretty hard to, to get off without touching the adhesive, but we're just gonna drop that right in. Press it down to make sure that the adhesive sticks. Take off the plastic cover off the front. And that looks pretty good. And there we go. Brand new glass on our Hero 8. So that's it. Uh, the process was maybe a little bit more complicated than it was on the Hero 5 to the Hero 7, but it still only took a couple minutes. Uh, it really wasn't that hard, and we didn't even need the heat gun. The hair dryer seemed to work well enough. I guess if you're using a hair dryer, especially a cheap one, uh, the only thing I'd recommend is uh, you might have to get pretty close to the camera lens in order to create enough heat. I think I was about half a centimeter away, if your hair dryer is better, uh, you might want to start higher up and move your way down until you can feel the glass getting hot. But I personally did have to get pretty close uh, in order to feel anything. Anyways, if you guys are interested in picking up one of these camera butter kits, I'll post the link to their website down below. I'm really grateful for the products that they make. Uh, they also make ND filters for GoPros and stuff like that. These in particular are definitely a game changer. Who knows, maybe they're gonna go back to replaceable lens covers with the release of the Hero 9. I doubt it though. I really don't think they're gonna go back to a similar design. So, Camera Butter, thank you so much for what you guys do. These are honestly great. And to you guys, thank you for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate it if you just hit that like button. It really does help me out a lot. Feel free to subscribe if you guys wanna stay in touch. But as always, I still appreciate all of you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.